So here we have the Hyundai iX20 automatic on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boots and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the boot, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. And then underneath this tray section, loads more space should you need it. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle, you can see the total miles of this car, which are 5,920. Above that, we have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges, and you'll see it will show you what gear this car is currently in as well. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have stereo controls continued over on the right-hand side. Over on the right, we also have the button to change the trip computer information up on the main screen. So if we press that button now, you can see that you get various bits of trip computer information up here. Uh, you can reset some of that should you be going on a drive. And then finally, we have the phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair the phone up, which is done over on the screen just here. So you hit the phone button and then use the numbers that correspond with what it is you want to do. So for now, we're going to cancel. Uh, radio wise, this car has got FM and AM radio, as you can see. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You can do that via the CD player just there. This car's also got your auxiliary and USB inputs as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music. The main volume for the stereo is just there. We then have air conditioning. So you can adjust the temperature with this dial, the fan speed with this one. You can determine where you'd like the air to be diverted once it enters the car. When you're happy with those settings, that button turns the air conditioning on and it's on when that blue light shows and it'll also turn it off again, of course. You can also recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you've set on this dial just here. Underneath that, we have a 12 volt charging socket, the auxiliary and USB inputs I mentioned a moment ago, and then the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.